So upon rewatching A Quiet Place for a third time, it is still really good. It's still somehow really good because every time I rewatch a movie more and more times, I slowly find out sort of the the plot holes and just anything wrong with the movie. But no, this movie is still really good. Don't think it's like great. Don't think it's quite great. I don't think it's quite great, but it's close to being great. It's really good. So we got John, the, the, the guy from The Office can't pronounce his last name and then emily blunt both play their roles perfectly emily blunt's character she's pregnant they've got like a couple of kids the first kid dies in the opening just this creature slashes them which is really cool and cold and tragic cold opening and most of the movie is quiet because you know by the title name a quiet place so we share all these great sound like effects or not sound effects but like the sound mixing and the sound department for the movie must be great we barely even get to see the creature. The creature is mostly seen during the last act. We just see them running around. So everyone now has to adapt to the new world because these creatures or alien things, they can hear our sound very, very good. They have ultrasound. And I like how you know the way they sort of talk to each other or to like other people is during the night, they like build up this fire thing so that they can tell where people are. So they see them for like miles away. That's how they communicate to other communities slash people. But our main focus is this family. And it's hard, you know, as I said before, Emily, Blunt's character, she's pregnant. Their father from the office guy, he's trying real hard to protect his whole family. They have to keep on moving and moving and moving. I think there's this like store scene, I think. Is it, wait, am I mixing? Or maybe I'm getting this sort of scene wrong, but I think they're in like a grocery store. And then in one of the rare times we actually get to see the creature, we see its mouth. When it opens its mouth, there's like this ear herring sound thing. And it's both disgusting and cool at the same time. And well, okay, so as the reasons why I don't think it's quite great, it's because things I would have like cut out in terms of the quiet moments i get what they're trying to you know go for very somber very dark they can't like socialize or anything they have to be super quiet but maybe i don't know like i just kind of like faster paced somewhat not super fast paced movies but like just kind of fast movies that, that's just a me thing so then we even just get to a part to where one of the kids they mess up during this uh like big corn thing where they like store all the not maybe corn i don't know not a farmer or i'm not near any farms but there's this big like storage thing and one of the kids the deaf girl gets stuck in one of them and you know they obviously have to get out they got on the truck and with no sort of alternatives the father has to sacrifice himself he does the whole sign sign language thing and that he's always loved them the creature obviously gets him it's actually qu quite a sad and tragic moment right Spend his whole movie trying to protect them now it's all left on emily blunt's character to protect her you know family and feed them she also gives birth to this goddamn kid by the way in this bathtub man that shit looked rough and another thing that uh, i don't know it's kind of convenient this deaf girl you know she's deaf so she has this ear thingy that she, that she can hear or whatever and that thing that like device is what sort of defeats or not defeats them but like hurts these creatures which kind of convenient thing there but it's just kind of a plot mcguffin thing that doesn't matter it's, it's kind of like how a venom is be being like in order to defeat him you need to use like airwaves not airwaves but like sound thing i don't know what to call it. i'm forgetting but it's the same thing kind of so one of them goes down and then the, you know the movie ends with all of them still together actually going into a sequel which was supposed to come out this year in september actually obviously with covid it's being delayed to like next year like with every movie that's supposed to come out this year it's getting delayed you know new movies and obviously they've already released uh, Bill and Ted 3, Mulan, all that stuff. But, you know, come on, Disney or not Disney, but just every company, please give us some content to watch. It's all boring. But if you ha if you still haven't seen this movie, A Quiet Place, recommend it. Super excited for the sequel. Hopefully it's good. The sequel does seem a bit rushed. Not gonna lie. It's like, it's gonna be like two years later and like maybe one year worth of pre-production, during production and post-production. But otherwise, super excited for the sequel. So obviously the next 11 movies slash 11 11 days will obviously be the Halloween franchise. I'm hoping to, to make, you know, the Halloween movies a bit longer. 10 minutes, maybe. Not a guaranteed, but hope that's my goal, by the way. So I'm super excited to talk about every single one of those movies. All the good and the bad.